What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here. In this video, we will be looking at some awesome loadouts to use to quickly and easily beat the legend version of the Aphelion's Rest Lost Sector in the Strand on the Dreaming City. So to do this, we must first know the modifiers. This is a Taken Lost Sector, meaning we have Overload Hobgoblins and Unstoppable Phalanxes. The modifier is Epitaph, meaning Taken Combatants will spawn Blight Geysers at their feet when defeated. This Lost Sector is unique in that it is the only one to date with Stasis Burn. So this means stasis damage both dealt and received will be increased by 50%. We also have void shields to deal with. Then we have the usual modifiers like match game, locked loadouts, extra shields, and limited revives. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at the first build. The first build is on the Hunter. We are running Void 3.0 with Vanishing Step and Stylish Executioner. For fragments we have Echo of Undermining to allow our vortex grenades to weaken enemies, Echo of Persistence to make our Devour and Invisibility last longer, Echo of Remnants to make our Vortex Grenades last longer, and finally, Echo of Starvation to give us Devour when we pick up an Orb of Power. For weapons, we have a really awesome build with the new exotic SMG Osteostriga. This thing chews through adds and is great for the overloads. We then have the Void Glaive the Enigma for dealing with the Void Shields and Stunning Unstoppables, and lastly we have the Stasis Rocket Launcher Palmyra B to take advantage of Stasis Burn. For mods, on the helmet we have Font of Might to buff our Glade projectile damage when we pick up a Void Elemental Well. We also have Harmonic Siphon and Kinetic Siphon to allow both our Glaive and SMG to make Orbs of Power. On the gloves we have Elemental Ordinance to make a Void Elemental Well when we get a Grenade Kill. And as mentioned, we have Overload SMG and Unstoppable Glaive. On the chest piece we have the Exotic Six Coyote for two dodge charges. And we have Reaping Wellmaker to make a Void Well when we get a Weapon Kill after we dodge. We also have Void Damage Resistance and Thermal Shock Plating for survivability. On the boots we have Volatile Flow to give our Glaive Volatile Rounds when we pick up a Void Well. As well we have Rocket and Glaive Ammo Scavenger. And on the cloak we have Overload Grenades for stunning the Hobgoblins with our Grenade, Elemental Armaments for our Glaive to make Void Wells with Projectile Kills, and Suppressing Glaive to allow us to go Invis from Stylish Executioner with Glaive Kills. This build absolutely slaps as you can clearly see. The SMG clears out the adds no problem, the glaive is great for the shields and stunning the phalanxes, and the rocket launcher outputs some decent damage. Overall, this is a really great build to run in this lost sector. You may even want to run Font of Wisdom so you can get a quicker super if you are really ripping through the lost sector, because as you can see at the end, I barely get my super in time for the boss spawn. And speaking of the super, you just want the single shot tether on this one, because all the adds spawn in at once, so you can group them all up with the single shot tether and take them out easily with a grenade or a rocket. But that's pretty much all you need to know for this build. I'll let the rest of the run play out and see you for the Titan build. Next up we have the Titan build. For this build we have another really awesome loadout and setup. We have Controlled Demolition which causes enemies to become volatile and explode. This clears out the enemies in this lost sector super fast. We also have Offensive Bulwark to help lower our ability cooldowns when we have an overshield. For Fragments we have Echo of Undermining to allow our grenade to weaken targets. We have Echo of Instability to get volatile rounds when we get a grenade kill. We have Echo of Expulsion to cause enemies to explode when we get an ability kill and Echo of Remnants to make our Void Grenades last longer. For weapons, we have the Stasis Auto Rifle Herod C for stunning the overloads, Graviton Lance for stunning unstoppables and tearing through adds, as well as dealing with Void Shields, and then the Reed's Regret Stasis Linear Fusion Rifle. I forgot to mention that you want Taken Spec on all your weapons if you own it. Every add in here is Taken, so you'll get more mileage out of that mod than running Minor or Major Spec. For armor mods, on the helmet we have Melee Wellmaker to make a Void Well with a Melee Kill, and then Linear Fusion Rifle Ammo Finder. On the gauntlets we have Font of Might to make our G-Lance do more damage, and as mentioned before we have Unstoppable Pulse and Overload Auto. On the chest piece we have Elemental Ordnance to make a Void Well with a Grenade Kill, and then Thermoshock Plating and Concussive Dampener for survivability. 
We are running the exotic Heart of Inmost Light to empower our abilities and allow us to get our abilities back even faster. On the boots we have Elemental Armaments to allow our G-Lance to make Void Wells, and then Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger and Invigoration. On the mark we have Overload Grenades to stun the Hobgoblins, we have Volatile Flow to give our Graviton Lance Volatile Rounds when we pick up a Void Elemental Well, and then Double Bomber to get Grenade Energy when we put down our Barricade. And that's it for the Titan build. This build, much like the last one, goes super hard, and if you are looking for a safer weapon loadout, then this is the play. If you are lower light, try out this build because it has great range and I think Reed's Regret is better for dealing with the champions than the rocket launcher is. Anyways, enjoy the run and I will see you for the Warlock build. Lastly we have the Warlock build. We are running Void 3.0 with Feed the Void to get us Devour when we get an ability kill, and Chaos Accelerant to overcharge our Vortex Grenades. We have Echo of Expulsion where Void Ability Final Blows cause enemies to explode, Echo of Undermining for Weakened Grenades, and Echo of Remnants to make our Vortex Grenades last longer. For weapons we have the Exotic Trace Rifle Augur's Scepter. These got a 40% buff to Red Bar enemies, plus it takes advantage of Stasis Burn, so this thing is awesome for ad clear. It also freezes the Scions which keeps them from multiplying, which is honestly the toughest part about this lost sector, is keeping the Scions from getting out of control. That is why we want good ad clear weapons. We have the Void Pulse Rifle Last Perdition for the Unstoppables and Void Shields, and once again the Rocket Launcher Palmyra B, but again, you should use Reed's Regret if you have it. On the helmet we have Elemental Ordnance, Harmonic Siphon, and Rocket Launcher Ammo Finder, on the gloves we have the Exotics Controverse Hold to get grenade energy back when we deal damage with our grenade. This will help us always have a grenade for ad clear or void shields. We also have Bolstering Detonation for ripped energy back when we deal damage with a grenade. And as mentioned earlier we also have Unstoppable Pulse Rifle. On the chest piece we have Melee Wellmaker and then Thermal Shock Plating and Sniper Damage Resistance. On the boots we have Elemental Armaments to allow our Void Pulse Rifle to make Elemental Wells. We also have Invigoration for melee energy back when we pick up an Orb of Power, and Rocket Launcher Scavenger. And finally, on the Bond, we have Overload Grenades as our only way of stunning overloads, Volatile Flow to give our Pulse Rifle Volatile rounds, and Double Bomber for grenade energy back when we put down a Rift. And that is going to do it for the final build, and for the video. This Lost Sector is actually a lot of fun to farm when you get a method down. All the runs in this video were done in under 3 minutes, which makes this one of the better farms to do this season. You can mix and match with some weapon loadouts that I suggested and see what works best for you. As I said earlier, the biggest thing is not letting the Scions multiply. And once you get used to the enemy spawns, that's not super hard to do. But that is going to do it for me. If some of the mods in this video didn't make sense to you, you can check out a video I made breaking down how every single mod works in Destiny. It is a long video, but it has everything you need to know about mods. And if this current video helped you out, then a like and subscription would be greatly appreciated. Happy Lost Sector Farming Guardians, and take care.